proof that bumblebees love bear corn. It's pretty amazing. Bears love it too. That's why it's called bear corn. So let's just check it out. It's just crazy. More bear corn. Bear corn. Bear corn. Another bumblebee. Hey everybody. So it's like 7.30 at night. We're about to cook a little dinner. Had a long day at work and school and Amy was, was working. Had to take our dog to the vet, lots of stuff. This behind me is a fence I'm working on. I'll probably have a video on it. Um, locust posts. Uh, the locust is from our property. This is rhododendron. Both great fence woods. We had to think of a unique idea because it's built on top of of uh, these railroad ties. Um, the goal is to keep the goats out of our raised uh, flower garden, uh, but that's for another video. So Rowan a few days ago brought me back this and she said, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool. She was out on a hike on her own, um, which is great. I love that. Uh, she has 20 acres and then some to explore. Um, and she brought me this back. She's like, I don't know what it is, but I thought you would want to see it. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what it was either. Then I did some research. This is called bear corn. It's a non-photosynthetic plant. Um, I have found ghost pipes on our property before, which is another non-photosynthetic plant. We live in a very shaded area as far as the forest goes, which is a good sign of a healthy ecosystem. Um, and these plants evolved in environments where a lot of sunlight does not filter to the ground. So they evolved to not do photosynthesis anymore, which explains the pale color. And um, instead they get food a lot like a mushroom. They're a parasitic plant. These are associated with oak trees. Um, we'll have a video about foraging it out soon. Um, this is an edible plant. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it tastes like. Um, I've heard it's also like a survivalist food. Um, it may not taste amazing, but we're gonna put it um, in a fry with some garlic and some onions, maybe some asparagus from the garden. We're gonna clean it up pretty well, chop it up. These are actually flowers you can see on it. Um, and bees love these and so do bears, which is why it's called bear corn, about 15% of a bear's diet in Smoky Mountain National Park, they did some studies on this. About 15% of, of their diet was bear corn, which is pretty crazy. And like I said, bumblebees love these little flowers. I actually got a little bit of footage of that. And uh, we'll see if we love them. Um, I just took a little bit. We have tons of bear corn up there, like hundreds of these all over the place. Um, I think some people might mistake it for uh, a fungus sometimes, or even a magnolia seed pot, I think. Um, but it's neither. It is a uh, non-photosynthetic plant. So we're gonna fry this up and uh, see what it tastes like. So we were going to show you us eating the bear corn, but it got really dark and kind of late. I mix it up with some asparagus and some red onions and some garlic. And then we tried it. And Ro, what did it taste like? It tastes pretty bad. I uh, don't know about that, but it tastes pretty bad. It tastes horrible, I would say. Um, it tastes like imagine poop today oh okay um very very bitter disgusting actually um so i call this a foraging fail um even though everything i read said you can eat bear corn um 
we fried it up in a lot of butter and it was just very very bitter maybe there's a better way to cook it um, I saw on some websites that people really did not like it and then others said it was a survival food but I don't think I would eat it unless I really really had to it was not good so even though bare corn may be edible I don't think it was that tasty and it doesn't sound like Rowan thought it was that tasty either. So uh, I tried it raw too. And I yeah, she tried it raw. It was bad then as well. So eat at your own risk. But it's easy to identify and it's a cool plant because it's non-photosynthetic. So think about it.